Hi to everyone, let me show you the root system of the canary ensis palm. So these are the canary ensis that we have, there were three. Now recently we have transplanted one. So let me show you the root system. We have just cut the area and you can see the, how intense that is. And uh, normally in landscape area we check the thrones. That if the thrones are that much far away, then the roots will also go to that much far away. So you can see there. These are the roots of canadiensis. Here. These are the uh, fibrous roots. And uh, they are taking moisture and everything from the ground. So now just check the distance between the farthest point, which is that one, and the trunk. So that is almost two and a half meter away. And if you take that, the farthest root, straight to the top, then that is exactly where its outer throne is so that is the formula of the root zone that where is the root zone so you just go to the canopy if it is tree or it is a farm so just go to the canopy and drag a perpendicular line from there and you will find out that where the root zone is this is very helpful and uh, especially in orchards when you apply nitrogen phosphorus and potash fertilizer so you will not apply the fertilizer only in the base area near the trunk but you will go where your thrones are so if your last branch is ending there then you should apply fertilizer from here to onward to the trunk so but here the intensity the intensity of the roots you can say the ratio is less as you go more uh, towards the trunk that increases but here you can see that within one meter the roots are more but as you go down the roots are becoming lesser and lesser so but at least one and a half meter is the area where the roots will be in abundance so from here we took the one palm here you can see in this area just check the roots that how they were growing so here you can see from this cut that almost one meter of area have the majority of the roots and then below we have roots but they, they were less so it means that whenever you uh, took away the palm from a center to a certain point certain area then you have to go to the thrones and just cut the area dug the area around that area uh, adjacent to the throne area that you should go and pick all the roots if it is possible so here in this case we have transplanted what form from this point to there it is just um, you can say 20 meters away from here so we dug that area quite big and we transplant that palm from here to there because uh, it was not too far away so that that was very helpful but if you are going too far away and you are traveling hundreds of kilometers from one point to another then definitely you can't take that much soil with you so that's done the job is finished so thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and like the videos